I'm Philip Smith. I'm Chris Pump. So really quickly, just a background on Envision. Um, it is a rating system developed by the Institute for Sustainable Infrastructure. Um, it pretty much is a, a guide to help um, develop more sustainable infrastructure as a whole, um, and then evaluate how sustainable that infrastructure project may be. Uh, it can be used from the planning phase all the way through the design phase and then the post-construction phase just to sort of evaluate it even more. And uh, it also includes um, all of the stakeholders involved in the, in the project. So basically there are five categories of the rating system. There are the quality of life, leadership, resource allocation, natural world, and climate and waste. There are um, different categories to score and a total of 60, 60 credits. And you can achieve better scores on multiple solutions probably. So the uh, first main category is uh, quality of life, which is made up of purpose, community, and well-being. Uh, pretty much the quality of life category concerns itself with the individuals and the community as a whole and its aspirations and goals as a community, how it wants to develop and build itself. This um, may also include the physical and social health of the community and specific individuals. Um, one specific example of this is the main state expansion in uh, Liverpool. This was uh, at Anfield, which is Liverpool Football Club's main stadium, or home stadium, and it has been for 125 years. One of the main goals of this development was to preserve the historic Set for historic structure while also um, improving the community around it. This was done by uh, adding 8,500 seats during the soccer season. Um, so there's a lot of cool developmental techniques going on there. Um, a positive of this would be the um, local businesses around the community getting better business from the increased fans on match days. Um, however, one negative uh, side effect of this would be the um, increased light pollution, vibrations, and general noise because of this massive increase in fan base on match days as well. One of the other categories for Envision is leadership. It's pretty straightforward. The subcategories are collaboration, management, and planning. And these subcategories have everything to do with the efficiency of who's in charge, whose responsibilities are what, um, as well as asking questions to look at projects after completion to see are there any future conflicts that may arise and can we handle them in front of you. So this category can be applied to very popular infrastructure projects. The One World Trade Center. During the tail end of construction, uh, Superstorm Sandy unfortunately hit the One World Trade Center. And what the result of this was, was the fuel cells that were present in the tower were damaged, they need to be replaced. In order to replace them, construction for the loading dock in the building needed to be delayed. However, the developer for the project, the New York and New Jersey Port Authority, had a contractual agreement to allow one of the major tenants to be able to move in by January 1st, 2014. In order for them to move in, the loading dock needed to be constructed as soon as possible. This conflict ultimately led to the loading dock being built and the tenant moving in on time, resulting in the fuel cells not being replaced. Had the developer, the other people in charge on the project, thought about future conflicts such as the damaged fuel cell, they could have put tools in place so that the fuel cell could have been replaced without the loading dock needing to be um, delayed. So Envision takes a role of allocating the resources efficiently, although there are three subsections with the resource allocation, materials, energy, and water. I would like to talk more about materials and energy by applying them to a new 10 centigrade project. The Envision allows the builders to consider using the recycled materials. This can significantly well, preserve the environment and enhance the economy to reduce the use of virgin materials and avoid sending useful materials to landfills. There are many parts of existing bridge can, that can be properly allocated by refurbishing the used materials for reuse. Because the consumption of natural resources is a primary concern, 
and greatly contributes to greenhouse gas emissions, congestion, and environmental pollution and degradation. The vision helps to achieve the reduction in energy consumption. For example, the new Tampanti Bridge project not only has to construct a new structure, but also demolish the old one at the same time. This might have caused the project to encounter twice the cost of energy to, for the construction. However, by using the ambition, it can guide the firm to figure out how to reduce the amount of energy. And in this case, the elixir can be used for both removing and placing the heavy materials for both the old bridge and new bridges. The category that I'm presenting on is natural world. The three subcategories for it are deciding, wind, water, and biodiversity. The project that I decided to write on was the Panama Canal expansion. And uh, unfortunately, it would not do very well in the siding subcategory because the siding category is all about protecting prime habitat and farmland, as well as avoiding adverse topography. And because it's a canal, they really didn't have much choice on where to put it. But luckily, the good thing about Envision is they give you multiple options to gain points, and it would do very well in the land and water and biodiversity sections. It would do well in land and water because water is such a precious resource to this canal that all the storm water did to take very special care to make sure they can, you know, funnel it all and put it inside the canal. Under biodiversity, which score well because the, all the land and animals that they have to protect in the area, they took uh, extra special care to make sure to safely remove them from the construction zone and put them in nearby habitat. The next section that I'm presenting on is the climate and risk section, and it's made up of only two subcategories, emissions and resilience. The emissions category is all about what it would sound like, reducing air pollution, which the Panama Canal expansion would do very well in this section because ships can now sail between South America and North America instead of having to go all the way around South America or the other way around the globe through the Suez Canal. It also score well under the resilience category because the resilience is all about building projects that are meant to last and the Panama Canal ex expansion took extra e efforts to make sure they uh, weren't affected harshly by earthquakes as well as building it to last at least 100 years. So in conclusion, some of the big points about Envision are that compared to other um, green environmentally friendly uh, programs for certification such as LEED, Envision is focused on results rather than intent. It also allows for open-ended solutions. So as previously stated, Envision's checklists are about asking the developers, the owners questions of you know, bigger, broader ideas and allows the owner and the developers to come up with their own solutions. While other programs such as LEED are just simple checklists that you just need to follow. Also, Envision has a wide range of applications. While other programs are only focused on buildings and housing, this is focused on all types of infrastructure from wastewater, energy sources, and so much more. And here are our resources.